All right, these are quick and sloppy uploads, all right? I'm not going to mess around with any editing or any of that crap. Just get through this fucking shit. There might be three, four parts. I don't know. If you want to watch, don't watch. I don't care. I don't want to hear any crappy complaints about it or anything else. I'm just doing this because this is the argument that's out there. This is the goddamn argument that's out there. Um, the nerves of a human being where they can't feel anything, yet they receive surgeries and they receive things that are beneficial to them in order to help out their body, although it involves cutting them open. Yeah, and then these are rights that we don't apply to animals. There's farms right now where they're cutting the testicles off of a, a bull by, you know, tying rubber bands around it. No, no anesthesia, no anything. Just rubber bands around its motherfucking testicles. Um, should, should we treat humans that way too? Humans we don't have any fucking regard for? Assholes? Now, while that person is unconscious or they're under the force of drugs, does this mean that it would be okay to kill them or destroy them? Yeah, it would be perfectly okay if you can demonstrate that they are going to cause more harm in their life than good. That's right. But we can't demonstrate that. We can't prove that. As individuals and as a society, we've recognized again that we have rights and that you have to give each other this concession. You can't make these judgments as individuals. We can only make these judgments as a society. So if you go out and murder a few people, well, yeah, then you might, you might have to forfeit your rights, okay? But until then, you have your rights. That's part of the social fucking contract. And you've decided that all these other sentient creatures don't measure up to your fucking standards. They're not entitled to any fucking rights. They're not entitled to a future. They're not entitled to decent treatment. They're not entitled to a mother fucking thing because you, fat fucktard, says so. You would probably say, of course not, Brett. They're a living being. The reason why they're in that situation is because of the drugs. It's because of the function that has been put upon them. So in this sense, we're not talking about feelings or emotions, are we? Uh, yeah, we are. We're talking about the feelings and the emotions of the individual before he went under anesthesia. And you're having respect for the person's investment in their life and the fact that they still have work to do and they have kids to take care of and they have obligations to satisfy. And so you don't have a right to kill them while they're fucking unconscious. But as an ethical act, as a singular ethical act, unplugging somebody when they are unconscious is not a crime. There's no suffering involved. There's no pain caused. But in the context of an individual that has work to do, okay, and that has a social contract saying, you don't interrupt my work, I won't interrupt your work, yes, then it becomes an ethical crime. But in the universal sense, from the ultimate objective perspective, it can be perfectly ethical to kill someone when they're unconscious. If a person's on an operating table, they're not feeling anything. They're not afraid. They're not scared. They're just laying there numb while the doctors work on them. Does this make this person who laying on the table any less valuable to the human race? Does it make them less of a person because now their nerves are numbed? Well, it's completely, again, irrelevant because there's a context to their fucking existence. There's a beforehand, Brett, you dumb ass. And, and why, do we, why do you think when we, we execute somebody, the state, when they execute a crazy motherfucking lunatic, when they put the mad dogs to sleep, why, why, why don't we do it the most malicious way possible? Why don't we just pick them apart a cell at a time? Uh, no, we, we sit there and try to do it in a humane, decent way, okay? Not causing excessive pain. So what do we do? We put them to fucking sleep, you idiot. And they can't feel pain? Does this mean that if people want to go in and have their way with this person's body, or the doctors decide they just want to kill them, that it's okay? Remember, though, they can't feel it. They can't feel what you do to them. They don't have any pain. Man, you're just so fucking retarded. So you couldn't even spend the five minutes it takes to think through this subject and realize that what makes the difference is the context, that the person had a life before they went under anesthesia, and they will have a life after they get out of anesthesia. And they have a right not to have to clean semen off themselves when they wake up from the fucking anesthesia. It's a fucking right. We've all agreed to, you dumb. 
motherfucking ignorant straw man fucking bastard. Will you stick to the motherfucking goddamn subject? If you're going to call people goddamn fucking hypocrites, you need to bring a better argument than this fucking nonsense. Right now. Or is there a time limit on how we do this? I think it's very important that if we have this... Well, guess what? Like, there, there were cases. There's Karen Ann Quinlan. Yeah, she, she went past the time limit. We finally said, yep, she's goddamn dead. She's been a goddamn dead person for a long fucking time, and it's time to bury her. And so they unplugged her and they buried her. And we've done it in other cases, too, because we conceded to reality. And what we do, we, you know, we call them vegetables. I wonder why we do that, Brett, if they're the same goddamn thing as they were when they were, they were, had a complete consciousness and a complete sentience. Why are we calling them vegetables? That seems kind of strange. Because don't vegetables have a complete life? <laughs> you stupid ass. It's arguments. We're going to have to be rational about it. Uh, yeah, right. You're, you're, how, I don't even know how you can, how, I don't even know how the word rational can, that is proof there's no God. Because if there was a God, your face would fall off when you said the word rational. Because there's not one tiny, minute speck of rationality in this preposterously idiotic argument. We're going to have to figure out what it is we actually care about when it comes to things or living organisms. Oh, no, I don't think, I think most people have no problem figuring it out. They don't like having fucking steel rods shoved through their fucking head when they're awake. Okay? They know what they don't want. They don't want to be run over by a drunk fucking driver. They don't want to be harmed. They don't want to get syphilis. They don't want to get swine flu. They don't want to fucking suffer, Brett. They can figure that fucking part out. Do we care about life because it feels or because it has pain? Or do we care about life simply because it exists? Well, I think most people only care about consciousness. I don't think they care about a goddamn fucking spirochete or some other single cell microbe or some other fucking, uh, you know, little piece of DNA or something. I don't think anybody's going to cry um, for viruses or something. You think viruses are life? I mean, the sort of maybe kind of, right? Oh man, you are fucking insane. Now people care about things that are capable of being harmed. That's why they care about them, because something called harm can happen to them. You understand the word harm? Does that word mean anything to you? Do I have to go to the dictionary and explain the word harm to you? Someone provided me a link recently that shocked me. I had no idea about this at all. According to Wikipedia, as well as other information that can be found all over the internet, Adolf Hitler was a vegetarian. <laughs> oh, bravo! Yo, know, they have a word for that when somebody has to bring up Adolf Hitler because they're so desperate in an argument, you know. So, so, so that's, that, that's not a straw man now, right? No, no, vegetarians have now account for Adolf Hitler's behavior. That's just fucking goddamn brilliant. So let's bring up every fucking atheist who ever committed a crime, and then you can account for their behavior. How about that, Brett, you dumb motherfucking piece of shit? Does mean that all vegetarians are dictators who have attitude problems, who feel like it's okay to kill certain human beings because they... Now, when he makes this exact counter-argument against, against the religious people, when they point out what atheists, the evils that atheists have done in the world, so all you asshole atheists listening to this fucking fucktard, defending this fucking fucktard, can you see the duplicity and hypocrisy in this motherfucking argument? He's going to bring up Adolf fucking Hitler uh, uh, to, to malign vegetarianism. Okay? He's using this fucking tactic. This motherfucking asshole. Deem them invaluable? No. There are many, many good vegetarians out there that I've met and talked to, and also that have responded to me. And well, Brett, guess what? It's not about who you've talked to and who's responded to you. It's about a whole fucking a billion, pe billions of people on planet Earth that you malign with your rhetoric, okay? That's what it's about. Who fucking cares what your personal relationships are with people? It's completely irrelevant to your accusation that I'm a hypocrite. Respect that. If you guys don't mind, can you try to explain to me what your understanding of Adolf Hitler's views were? Can you explain from what you know why it is he felt it was okay to kill human beings? Uh, because he saw them like you see pigs. 
He made a distinction. He saw them like some Americans saw American Indians when, you know, so when the Europeans arrived here in this continent, they saw American Indians as heathens, as animals, as something lesser than human beings. They didn't understand about genetics then. So yeah, they, they could malign them, turn them into to trash, to heathens, into garbage, and then kill them. Yeah, is it that complicated, Brett? You can't figure that out? You do exactly the same thing. You've decided pigs are lesser consciousnesses, not deserving of any respect. You can torture them, you can, you can traumatize them, you can impose harm and pain and suffering on them, and it's all okay because you've justified it, because you think you're superior.